less than half an hour. Trying to get those shoulder blades back to canvas. His own arm might stop it, actually. Just a three or four seconds. Let's uh, go over to King Ben's corner now and have a closer look at him. The man who originally born in Keith Lee now lives at Silsden near Skipton in Yorkshire. 12 stone 8, right on the limit. The upper limit of the middleweight uh, bracket. We first saw him way back in 1975. Two years with the Hilltop, famous Hilltop Wrestling Club in Bradford, then turned part-time pro in 75. Second away, round three. <laughs> Round three, ten rounds to go, and it's still no score. Joe Dorazio, the referee from London, and hasn't had any warnings to give out yet. Keith Hayward, the champion from Dartford, versus King Ben, the challenger from Silsden. Taking over this move. A mop of curly hair there on the left with the darker trunks. But not quite. I'd like the move. Neither man would give them. There's Ben backing towards us now with a mop of curly hair. Really sweat pouring from him already. He'll certainly have to go some, Ben, if he's going to get this uh, title off uh, Keith Hayward. Keith Hayward was one of the greatest records in the unpaid ranks before turning pro. 1980. Probably of any professional wrestler today, a simply magnificent, unending record. But it's still Ben on the attack, even though his position looks precarious. He still has that uh, side headlock on, and the stranglehold now as Hayward turns it in. And really putting, you see the sweat pouring off, and he's putting everything he can into this chance here today. And he's still got that stranglehold on. 30 seconds. But now Hayward's out of it, and although his uh, ears still feel it. Hayward on the attack, but he's left it very late indeed. Just about 10 seconds left. Black hammer, once again, that arm coming around to try and get the headlock, but no. The bell saves him. Keith Hayward, one of the most regular trainers of the professional wrestling business, which is why he's held the mid European Middleweight Championship for so long. He trains the Bexley Fitness Center, along with um, quite, a, quite a few of the boys, including um, Tom Tyrone. Away. Round four. Round four, no score, two falls to decide this, and nine rounds to go. for the European middleweight championship and belt held by Keith Hayward, facing canvas at the moment. And his challenger, King Ben, of Yorkshire, determined to get that belt off him. Second leg 
grab. This is how Hayward gets rid of this man. As long as he's facing it, he can. In the early rounds, he was attacked from the rear on three occasions when Ben was really getting an advantage over him. First pinfall chance to the champion. That's a count of one only. Now, shoulder blades not touching. Well, he gets up in his an eventual restless bridge, but. A little clumsy looking, but it worked. One minute. Round four. And now, finally, Keith Hayward, the champion, showing a little sign, little sign of sweat, sweating for the first time. Now Hayward, the position he loves, attacking from the rear. Check rather than the back elbow. See Kate Hayward again getting rid of him, but only temporarily. Fifteen seconds. Ben still got the foot, but no good. It's over the top of the beautiful folding press there by Hayward, but right on the bell. It's too late now. Had to be then or never, and the bell saved Ben any further problem there. <laughs> Developing into some contest here, and Ben doing very well, who in the first four rounds, I would say, has done more of the attacking even than the champion has. But unfortunately, the champion has got such a tremendous quick counter that he can't really hold over those moves he makes. Second away, round five. Eight rounds to go at the start of this round five, and no score. Two falls to the side. Then on the left, drop of curly hair, the sturdier of the two, with the sweatbands on his wrists. The challenger. Double wrist lock to Ben. As you can see, the completed double wrist lock there on Hayward's left arm. Hayward trying to count over the head scissors. He's done so many times. Hold from the rear there by Ben. That's it's the, it's the legs, his legs that are doing the damage. He was quite keen to get out of that. Still not a single warning by Joe Dorazio, the referee. Not even pri private, not public, nice but, but did he get it right? Ben looks a little unhappy about the way that landed, but he's still going in fast on the crutch hole and slam. No. Cross press, can he hold? He can hold. In just one minute, 45 seconds of the fifth round, then the first fall. Like it, it's quite the closure for the underdog, but he's a very popular wrestler anyway. 
in this bracket, and they would love to see the champion uh, relinquish that belt here this afternoon. Round six coming up. Seconds away. Round six. Now, can Ben hold that lead? If I know Keith Hayward, he's going to have some problems. Does not like trailing at all, especially in a championship contest. Thought he was going for a poster, he got turned on the way. So Ben's still doing well, and nice double arm and a suplex, beautifully over the tops. And didn't quite bring off the cross press he was after. No, he hasn't got the shoulder blades down. Now he has. But he'll never hold it, and he knows it. Butt of Ben's comes in very quickly, just as uh, the opponent thinks you're going for the head, he goes straight down with it. Not a his, right to the stomach. So body scissors again, Ben. With a finger in the lock. He may be underneath and back to canvas, but he still could have the advantage here. from the crowd, they all seem to be for Ben. Or an awful lot of them, anyway. Just a minute to go. But, uh, Keith Hayward still no problem from these crossed head scissors here, the feet really holding tight. Ben's still holding it. It's amazing, he's still got that hold on. And the knee, Hayward's left knee, just under the wrong rope. Referee orders the break. Quite happy to get out of that. No, he had a hand there, that wasn't the first. Referee standing right there. Eight seconds. And welcome back to a catchweight contest. Although just 12 pounds separate the two wrestlers, the British lightweight champion Steve Gray giving away that weight to Iron Fist Clive Myers, who hails originally from King. can do in round seven with six rounds to go. Again, that forearm to the small of the back. It's Keith Hayward, the champion, on the left there. With the double-handed toe holder. Didn't like that at all for some reason, but he let go. He was told to, but he let, didn't like it. Hooked up with a physical rub to the ref there. Yes, the second time he's been caught with one of those. The right knee right on the throat. And a little bit too near the windpipe, says Dorazio. Over the top for shoulder press. If he gets this, he's won it. Hayward Bridges. It's all Ben needs. Just a couple of more seconds on one of those pinfall chances. Both agree. 
screen to break there and tell us there was nobody getting anywhere. In this game, if you can't uh, have a chance of scoring, there's no point continuing with the move. Let's get caught in the body check. Came in at the wrong time, Ben. One minute to go in the seventh. And over the top, he's getting caught in a box. Oh. Just fell sideways as he was maneuvering there. Referee Durazio forcing his way between them. Durazio, of course, the former middleweight wrestler himself. Phil Nelson. And over the top, this is a Haywood special here. He goes for that further arm with his feet. Nicely done. Can he get his man over to the double leg Nelson? He can. Now, can he hold it? Both men. Oh. It's a double count here. The referee doesn't know which end to count. Both show oh, lots of shoulder blades touching. Far too quick. 15 seconds to go in this seventh. Now, hardly worth starting a new move. Right on the bell. <laughs> this little tiny bit of needle creeping into this for the first time in the whole box so far. Ben, it's not, I don't think Ben started. I think Haywood's uh, the one that really started it. Ben looks quite happy and relaxed there, doesn't he? Leaning against his uh, corner post. He knows that he's got that one full advantage. And there are five rounds to go. Can he hold Seconds it? away. Round eight. Or better still, get another fall to make certain of it, of course. That would end the bout immediately. One more score by Ben on the left there, and it's all over. And he takes the European middleweight title and belt that goes with it. But five rounds to go yet. expecting one or two special Haywood moves, but I haven't seen a sign of them yet. Nice suplex again, a close suplex there by uh, Ben, but he's caught in the head scissors on the Haywood counter. legs holding that head scissors on Ben doesn't know which way to try this he forced the knees apart just as he dunked <clears throat> oh flying butt beauty that caught him right in the side of the head there Haywood could be in trouble from this but no he's waiting for him it's a cross press by Haywood this could be the equalizer almost got a count of two. Oh, that was a really near thing there Haywood nearly back in the, in the match there Just the Ben right shoulder blade coming off the canvas enough to stop the referee counting to three. One minute to go, round eight. And it's Hayward now taking over the suplex, double arm suplex, beautifully over the top, following up with a very awkward press, but it's working. He's, he's got it this time. That's a Hayward special. He got the double arm there and he held it with his own weight on top without actually going across the body. So one fall each in round eight, just two minutes, 15 seconds gone. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, in round eight of the contest, an equalizing fall to the champion, Hurricane Hayward. Well, that was quite a move. Had Ben weakened and followed up with that beautiful double arm and, and suplex. Before Ben even knew he'd hit the canvas, Hayward followed him up. And sportingly, Ben comes over congratulating him on that move, but limping a little as he goes back to his corner. Second way, round nine. Round nine, just four rounds to go now, one fall each, and the next score is the one 
that ensures one of these men getting that belt. Either the champion Hayward retaining it or Ben putting it around his waist for the first time. And that's the one he's been after. Oh, that was such a dramatic switch the move there by Hayward. One wonders whether he can do it again. I bet you Ben's thinking about it. Because that really came suddenly. Quarter Nelson there by uh, Hayward. trying those and he caught him unawares too. He wasn't, it was too close and he wasn't ready for it. Now Ben doing a nice arm lock underneath. Uh, uh, couldn't hold. Second chance for the further press. Each time the referee says one, Hayward just pushes himself forward over the Ben body. I can't see him holding that. Ben far too strong for that. So ben counters beautifully, but the ropes. One, two, three. They were a little bit worried about his right hip, or I think it's the hip that he was uh, worried about then. Stop that posting, all right. And again, trying that suplex, but this time makes a backbreaker out of it. He's got a minute to go, Ben. Trying the double arm. Has to release. Follows up quickly with that forearm smash. Perfectly legal. Now Hayward slightly weakened, but this time Hayward comes off the ropes just right and retaliates. The gravity's a double arm there to bend from underneath, and it could be trouble for Hayward, but no, Hayward again manages to slither out of trouble. 30 seconds to go in this ninth round, and Hayward going over the top again, but this time he mistimed it and went straight head first into the canvas. That could uh, dizzy him up a little bit. It would, it would anyone, in fact, anybody except one of these follows it doesn't seem to take any notice at all it's amazing took a dive into the canvas there misses hold and no chance of this double wrist lock coming off by Ben the bell there it is and still one fall each with three rounds to go and the needle seems to have gone out of it at the moment both men I mean, quite sportingly, but uh, Hayward was worried about his left hip at the beginning of that round. And then, of course, the end, we saw him take that dive while he was trying to get his uh, double arm over the top by leaping over his man and grabbing the, the roller on Second the way. Second away, round 10. And head first into the canvas. Doesn't seem to have made any difference to him at all. Three rounds ago, one fall each. Now... Hayward, the champion, Ben, the challenger. As Ben gets a posting, Ben in those yellowish boots are his. Oh, yes, beauty. Beautiful backdrop, but he doesn't follow it. Hayward had his chance there, goes for the full Nelson. Thinking of the double arm, I'm sure. Yes, the, the suplex style from the full Nelson. And yes, he's got it, the shoulder blades are touching. Ooh, very near thing. An unlucky Ben in 35 seconds of round 10. Hayward the winner, two to one, and retains the middleweight championship of Europe and the belt that goes with it coming into the ring to be put back on him. After 10 rounds of wrestling, he's still the champion. Hurricane.